everyone. Right, did you see my last Dutch pour? Because if you did, you'll know why I got so excited and why I want to do another one almost immediately afterwards. But slightly different colours this time. Um, the base is the same, the uh, Winsor Newton uh, Payne's Grey. Beautiful, beautiful, let me show you. Payne's Grey paints excuse me gray with a nice blue tint to it so that's why i like the windsor and newton brand for that but let's have a look at the colors first this is the order i will be laying them down in a puddle in the middle so first of all this is uh, amsterdam pearl white um, nothing else mixed in with it but it can give like a really nice whitish pearly outline to whatever you're blowing out okay that's the first one and then going sort of from light uh, dark to light excuse me i just mixed these uh this morning so the bottles look nice and pristine don't they <laughs> okay this is uh, a liquid x phthalo blue and mixed with a bit of deco art um, metallics deep sapphire beautiful color trust me it is gorgeous and then the next one uh sort of a medium blue um same uh liquitex phthalo blue um also liquitex uh, titanium white just to lighten it a little bit and mixed with amsterdam pearl blue right and then for contrast oops chunk there <laughs> for contrast i've got some gold now this is an amsterdam deep gold mixed with a uh with some deco art 24 karat gold i like this mix because it's very gold but it's not too in your face in case it shows up quite a lot and then the light blue which i like to think of as uh pretty much a baby blue this is a liquitex titanium white and phthalo blue um uh, ratio of one to one so that works out a nice nice baby blue okie doke so yeah without further ado i'm gonna pop some music on for you and i'm gonna start laying down the base and then start puddling my colors and get to get to the fun part shortly i'll speak to you in a bit
know what? I am going to take the risk that there's a bit much paint here and literally everything cross that this uh, dries well because if it does, I am going to lose my mind. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, again, nearly speechless. Um, Yeah, I, I, I'm so tempted to spin it some more because I am worried about the amount of paint here. But like I said, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and keep everything crossed for me that I will be back in a couple of days to show you an amazing dried result. But in the meanwhile, um, let me just uh, bring you in for a close up. Again, flash on so that first you don't get too many re reflections from uh, the room around us. And secondly, wow, just so that you can see the some of the shimmer going on look at that wow that is so cool but those cells the way they've stretched out here that is so cool right next time i need to get a much bigger canvas use about the same amount of paint and then you know spin without you know fear of losing uh, composition or you know not spinning in the fear and have the fear of having too much paint in the on the canvas oh look at that so yeah let's hope i'll be back in a couple of days to show you the dried result see you then hopefully bye oh my goodness i can't believe i took that risk with so much paint on the canvas it paid off look at that oh I am so pleased. It really dried very, very well. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous. I love it. Let me just pop the flash on. This is completely just in our artificial kitchen light. So let me just pop the flash on and uh, we'll have a look at the metallic effects. So here we go with the flash on. Oh, this is going to look so cool once I uh, varnish and or oh, pop um, resin on it. I think this is the absolutely needs to be resin. Look at that gold. Oh, my goodness. I am, again, in love. <laughs> but I'd love to hear what you think. Please uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you'd like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And once again, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.